Hey guys, Max Geek Group from MaxGeek.com. Today I'm going to show you guys 10 useful Mac tips you can use on your Mac. The first thing is putting a folder in the stacks on your dock. So, say you want to put this folder as a stack down the dock. You just highlight the folder and go Command Shift T. And watch carefully, now the SD keys folder is in my dock. Watch again. Command Shift T. There it goes, it's in my dock. Um, that's really useful if you're in a bunch of files and you just want to read through a bunch of files and get one as a stack on your dock. It's really useful. Um, the second one is dragging folder to folder. So let me just open up. Um, for instance, let me just take a quick screenshot. Okay, I got the screenshot and see I want to move it. There's more folders inside this folder. And say you want to move it folder to folder to folder. Just drag over the folder, hold it, it will open up, you can drag it to another one. You can keep dragging it folder to folder until you find the appropriate place to put it. It's really handy if you need to go for, through a bunch of folders. It really makes life easier dragging an image or file through a bunch of folders. The next um, tip is obviously really obvious one that most people know, but I thought I would throw in it anyway. It's zooming in. How to zoom in like this on your Mac. It's simple, just hold the control key and scroll in with your scroll wheel, or if you're on a MacBook, take two fingers on your trackpad and go up and down, holding while holding the control key. It's really cool for making tutorials or if you can't see the text or somebody's across the room and you're showing them something. It's really handy. It's really cool too. Um, so, the next Mac tip is changing the colors of your screen. Now, you guys won't see this because the capturing software does not pick up the different color variables because it's only displays in your screen. Um, but you guys can try it yourself. You won't see any difference because, like I said, the capturing software won't pick it up. Um, we want to hold Control, Option, Command, all those control keys, Control, Option, Command, 8. And your screen will turn completely different colors. Doesn't look like it did anything right now to you guys, but to me, my leopard background looks all greenish right now. It's all different colors. Just go Command Option Command Eight, Option Control Command Eight again to change it back. And the use of that is for colorblind people. Um, but obviously, most of you guys aren't colorblind, but it makes the colors look cool just for your board. I actually find that tip that feature useful when I'm in Photoshop because if I'm erasing or painting two different shades of white it's easier to see two different shades of black than just to see two different shades of white so that makes it useful for that. Um, the next tip I'm going to show you guys is how to do the opposite of wherever your dock is. And what I mean by that is if your dock's not magnified you can hold Control shift and it will magnify your dock. Um, so you can see my dock's not magnified, I'll hold Control shift it's magnified. It does the opposite of every dock is. So if your dock's magnified automatically and you hold control shift, it will no longer be magnified. It does the opposite of whatever it's set to do. Um, so now I'm going to show you guys quickly how to make your Mac talk. Um, this is really cool. A lot of people want to know how to do this. Um, if you just want your Mac to see a word, you just want to open up text in it. And type down what you want it to say. You want to go edit, speech, start speaking. Hello. And as you can see, your Mac talks. If you want your Mac to see the time, like it's 12.20 a.m., you just want to go to System Preferences. Then you're going to want to go to Date and Time. Then you're going to want to go to the Clock tab. And right here it says Announce the Time. You can check that off. Um, it will be unchecked for you, obviously. And then you can select when it will announce the time. You can customize the voice. Most people will recognize me by my voice. Change the rate. Most people recognize me by my voice. Sounds like it's hyper. Most people recognize. Sounds like he's talking to an old lady. Um, and yeah. So, moving on to the next tip. So, the next Mac tip is expose preview. So, let me just open up a bit, bit of windows here. Um, just pull up Firefox. And these two windows, and just go into expose and highlight over window, and press the space bar, and it will give you a preview. And this is only in Snow Leopard. If you're in Leopard, this will not work. 
You have to be in Snow Leopard. Um, the next feature is Spaces Shortcut. For a Spaces Shortcut, you want to hold Command Space on your keyboard. No, open up Spaces. My mouse is over here. It disappeared from not clicking anything. Command Space opens up Spotlight. Very handy for if you're in a bunch of files and you want a quick way to get spaces without moving your mouse. And just find a file. Use your arrow keys to navigate through it, and then you can open it just using your keyboard without your mouse, which is really handy. Um, the next thing I'm going to show you guys is how to find files inside Finder, inside any Finder window. So, um, you just want to press Command F on your keyboard, and the Finder search will come up. Simple as that, and you can search for kind of the old fashioned way of different files. Most of us use Spotlight, but that's a cool finder search shortcut. Um, and this is probably the most useful Mac tip. One of the most useful ones is how to view viewing options in any folder. So on my desktop, I want to press Command J. Now I see the desktop preferences, I guess, for the icons. I can change the icon size. Watch this folder when I drag this up and down. It changes the size. I can change the text size to whatever I want. Um, you can change how it's arranged. It's really handy. Um, and you can do that anything, not just your desktop. You can be in any place on Finder and customize anything, really. It's a really handy shortcut. So that concludes this tutorial, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, for more exclusive content, Mac tips, iPhone SDK tutorials, um, and other great Mac tips, and everything Mac in general is on my channel. So if you guys are Mac fans, I recommend going to subscribe to the videos. Um, and check out my website, macsgeek.com. That's about it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.